<clears throat> so we will be uh, looking at standard number eight, which uh, is uh, the teacher understands and uses a variety of instructional strategies to encourage learners to develop deep understanding of content areas and their connections and to build skills to apply knowledge in meaningful ways. Uh, there's a different number of things that we can do for this. Um, they should use a variety of instructional strategies to ensure that students are understanding what is happening within the classroom. Using this variety of strategies, teachers can ensure that they are not only meeting the students' needs, but the, that their pupils are being challenged. It is essential that teachers vary their lessons to allow students to take ownership of their education. It's always important to, to challenge them, even if they're getting it wrong, it still is important to challenge them. Uh, it's about tailoring the instruction to the type of learners and their interests. It's about knowing the content well enough to come from a different approaches to deliver the content. And uh, we will go into a few different of these methods that I have found. Uh, one of them is uh, demonstrates a variety of instructional station based. It's progressive lesson activity, flexible grouping for these lessons, allowing students to go at their own pace. Another one is the flexible grouping. Is in, that allows a differenti differentiation in consideration of those with uh, learning challenges and also encouraging peers to uh, move at different paces while working together. Uh, and this with the, the students sitting so much within a day, physical activities can be one way of changing it up and getting them more active and getting them more engaged in what they're doing. Um, it offers a, a way that it includes them and benefits them because they're active and not just sitting there staring at a screen or a board or a paper. Or it just gives them a little something different to do. Uh, another way is uh, instructional strategies in a pro project-based learning unit offering a range of options for students to demonstrate their mastery or understanding of a concept. All of these, uh, they offer students um, to learn at their own pace, go their different experiences, and working together, working solo. Um, it challenges them, keeps them active, keeps them interacting with other students, and uh, that'll keep them engaged and want to learn more. Thank you.